My name is Nick Garvey. I'm from Old Church Vets in Ballyshannon and we're on the farm here today of John Meehan to look at these sheep and to discuss the control of clostridial disease and pasteurlosis as a cause of sudden death and to help improve performance and reduce mortality rate on farm. So I suppose to give some context to uh, the role of vaccination and the control of clostridial disease on this farm. Traditionally John would have been a beef and suckler farmer and there's been a history of clostridial disease going back many years in this farm. Uh, 10 or 15 years ago John started to keep sheep and as part of that introduction we were talking about control measures that need to be put in place and knowing the presence of clostridial disease on the farm, a cornerstone of the sheep management was clostridial vaccination to eliminate that cause of mortality on farms. We know that 20% of sudden deaths in sheep are caused by either clostridial disease or pasteurlosis and therefore the control of those particular diseases is very important on sheep farms. John is a lowland sheep flock which is pretty prolific lambs in March and uh, in indoor lambing system and then yews and lambs are turned out afterwards. The maximisation of immunity in the yews which is passed on to the lambs is very important and then we vaccinate the lambs then uh, as, as young lambs uh, when they're born in, 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 in groups afterwards. As a practice over the last number of years in conjunction with XL Vets and XL Vet Skillnet, we have uh, put a lot of effort into farmer training to increase awareness of vaccination to implement and maybe focus a little bit better on control measures rather than typical ambulatory crisis management and putting the fire out when, when the problem uh, actually occurs. I suppose with clostridial disease you don't actually have that opportunity to solve the problem once it occurs because it is a sudden death issue and typically where we see clostridial disease is actually at post-mortem where the opportunity to eliminate that problem in the, in the individual animal is gone. So the, way, the best way to control clostridial disease is by clostridial vaccination. So we put a lot of emphasis over the last number of years in farmer training right across the preventative health range of which vaccination is an important cornerstone. Just to give some details about the vaccination protocol that we use on the farm here, uh, the vaccination that we use is Heptavac P+. It's a two-shot vaccine uh, and that gives the, uh, the O maximum immunity and that immunity is then passed on in the colostrum to the lamb where that provides four weeks of protection uh, to the lamb. So that we cover seven clostridial diseases plus pasteurlosis. Uh, after the lamb is four weeks old, that lamb will then need two shots of vaccine to confer immunity on the lamb. Uh, and this is where we often see a problem whereby uh, the, the, second the second vaccine shot is missed uh, and, and often only a single vaccine shot is administered and that will only give very short term and poor quality immunity to those lambs. So it's very important uh, that two shots will be given, that'll be two shots, four weeks apart, uh, will we'll confer immunity uh, on those lambs after their four weeks of age. I'm John Meehan, I live in Ballyshannon in South Donegal. We run a suckler to beef farm here and sheep. I've uh, been farming here all my life. We have mainly Suffolk and Textile Cross shows here, start lambing around the 1st of March. Back uh, a number of years ago, we had a problem with clostridial disease. I lost three cattle in 10 days with it. The first animal that died didn't pass much remarks on it. The second one died, got the vet out. We got the animal sent away to the lab, and by the time the results were back, I had lost another one. So we put a program in place through our vet, Nick Garvey, and uh, started to vaccinate cattle, and along with that I had to do them with penicillin as well. And I actually, my hand was sore from injecting cattle all that day. We had no sheep on the farm at that time, but once I got sheep, uh, Nick advised me to, to vaccinate the sheep as well. All animals on the farm, sheep and cattle, they're, they're all vaccinated uh, against clostridial diseases. And if they're new on the farm, they're vaccinated twice, but uh, anything that's there over 12 months, it only has to get a one-shot booster.
Since I started vaccinating against clostridial diseases, I have lost no sheep or cattle uh, due to the vaccination. I suppose, John, uh, I'd be talking to farmers quite regularly about these problems and clostridial disease and pasteurlosis and controlling them on their farms. And I suppose there's a couple of roadblocks that I continually come up against. Um, and I suppose maybe one of the biggest of those is labour and how difficult it is maybe to get help um, on farm with regard to administering the vaccines. Oh, well, yeah, there is labour involvement into it, surely, but uh, I don't think if you'll, you'll have, you have to work at everything, so if you avoid deaths by giving a vaccination uh, for your clostridial diseases, uh, it's the labour end of it doesn't come into it, and, and it is a cheap vaccine, like at the end of the day. Yeah, and uh, I suppose the, the other thing then that, that people would often bring up with me is that they don't see the value in it. Um, oh, the, the, well. Personally, now we have we lost three cattle in ten days with it, and by the time the results came back from the lab on the second one, like there was a third animal dead, and we vaccinated the, the whole cattle. That it was all cattle, and on the farm at that time there was no sheep, and we vaccinated the whole cattle as soon as the results were back from yourself, like. And we know clostridial disease is present in this farm, and since we started vaccinating the sheep with it you've had no custodial loss? Oh no, we have no losses, no, no losses in that area. No. Yeah, uh, and then um, I, I suppose then the, the other roadblock uh, that I'd see with it is that it's difficult for farmers to appreciate that they, uh, the benefits in it in that they don't see um, the sheep that are lost to it. Oh yeah, definitely, but as regards that, like one lamb will vaccinate a lot of sheep yeah. You know, the price of one lamb. Um, and the fact that I suppose that there isn't an opportunity for farmers to treat the sick animals with clostridial disease yeah. just takes the opportunity away in, in, oh, in treating yeah. those. And what do you think they're dead. Be, they're dead before you know it. Yeah, uh, because often it's, it's post-mortem. And do you yeah. use post-mortem as a, as a way to um, identify what's causing... Oh, yes, I would. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, uh, oh, yeah, post-mortem's great. Now, as long as the lab stays open, it'll be... It'll be grand, like yeah. you know, because it, it's it's cheap to get a post mortem done. Uh, and I suppose and you identify your problem, like the other thing there is uh, maybe the administration of the vaccine can be tricky sometimes. Uh, for, you know, it can be it's a lot more difficult, I think, to administer the vaccine or indeed any vaccine to sheep as opposed to cattle. What do you it, think about that? No, any tips? it is. Yeah, like well, the tip I have is uh, I bought an automatic syringe and uh, you'll run through the sheep quick now you just get into the race and that's what what i do is get into the race and let them buy them let them buy me as i do as i vaccinate them yeah because it's so easy in pens and, and where we'd often see it maybe uh, individual animals missed is where they're done in pens and people catching them. Yeah, well, but, you want uh, to be marking them at that stage if you're yeah. doing them in a, handling in a pen. Handling facilities is quite important. Oh, yeah. So you have good for handling facilities yeah. here and it eliminates that as a Yes, as, definitely, as, yeah. As, as, as an issue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, if you have the handling facilities, it's easy to do it, you know. But you'll get them done even in a pen, like, and mark them, you know. Mm. Just be careful. I suppose, John, one of the things that we know is we know clostridial uh, disease uh, and the bugs that cause it are present in the soil on every farm. Mm. Uh, and just given your experience, what would your advice be to someone who isn't vaccinating already? Uh, my advice would be don't wait until you have a death. Don't, you know, get it fixed before it's broken. Uh, start to vaccinate your cattle or sheep, whichever you have. It's a cheap vaccine, get it done. Okay, well look, thanks very much John uh, for talking to us today about clostridial disease and pasteurlosis. Uh, just like to say if any, in, if any of you have got problems or we can make efforts to control clostridial disease on your farm, come and talk to your XL Vet practice for further advice.